What's up, Rant Gang? Welcome back to Red Fern Rants. I am Jay Red Fern, back with epic rap battles of history. Today we've got Gandhi versus Martin Luther King. I don't know how I haven't reacted to this one yet because I've seen it mentioned that many times. I must have just kept ignoring everybody all this time. <laughs> the reason probably is, although t these two guys are obviously known by most people in the world. <laughs> like everyone knows who Gandhi and Martin Luther King are. Um I can't remember much of what I've met, I've learnt about them in the past, maybe in school or anything, and I can't I haven't really like like looked into them since. So although I'll know a little bit, it won't be what it should be. And I say that sometimes on this channel and and then it works out that I did know a lot, so maybe I will. <laughs> maybe things will just be refreshed in my brain. Who knows, but let's go with it anyway. It's only 1 minute 38, which is a little bit disappointing, but, you know, I'm sure it'll still be funny. So, let's get into it. Gandhi, Martin Luther King, let's go. <laughs> Rap so hard to spit yoga fire, kind of like yoga flame um, from Street Fighter, was it? Street Fighter. Yeah, I think it was Street Fighter, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I'm pretty sure yoga flame is from Street Fighter. Was the guy's name Dal Sim or something like that? Man, I'm so embarrassed that I do not know for sure that character's name. Was it Dalsim? It was something like that. Let me know in the comments. First name Messiah, rap so hot, I spit yoga fire. Everything you preach, I said it first. You should jot down these words, plagiarize my whole word. Leave a voice on the door like the real. Take that back. Name Messiah, rap so hot, I spit yoga fire. Everything you preach, I said it first. Everything you preach, I said it first. Calling them out just from the get go. You are you are just a you are just a lesser version of me basically. Chop down these words, pleasure, rise my whole girl. Little thoughts on the door, like the real Martin Luther. I'm not thinking you shall overcome this dude. I'm the king of civil rights from the city to suburbia, no shoes, no shirt, but I'm still gonna serve you. Yeah. Just swallow your words so you can break the fast and thank God Almighty you can eat at last. I admire the way you broke the British power, but I have a dream that one day you'll take a shower. Like the <laughs> I admire the way you broke the British power. But I have a dream that one day you'll take a shower. <laughs> now I know I'm not catching certain things, probably, but just, just some of these little uh, what 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 should we call them? Just these little shots, shall we say? Little little um, little disses, little shots, little not a major, but they just making me laugh. It's been funny so far. I'm sure my notifications are just there to ruin my reactions lately. Where protests and women, the same advice goes. <laughs> oh, I can't remember exactly how it went, basically. Stay away from the hoes. Do you know how clever that is? <laughs> street cred, they write my name on the signs. I'd bring you for tech support, but I got a Nobel Prize. Nigga, we got more beef than one of your oh, sacred cows, gangster, I'm about man. to forgive you 
so hard right now. I am possibly resisting the fact that you suck. I am celibate because I don't give a fuck. Oh. Hey, yeah. Who's there? Who's there? Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> that is brilliant. I'm celibate because I don't give a fuck. <laughs> If, as short as it was, let me just see if anything else comes in the last 12 seconds. <laughs> no. Right, okay, so... Uh, I've reacted to both of these that are on the screen, by the way, if you want to go and check them out, but... Um, as short as it was, it was still funny, obviously, because you can see me laughing. Um, I love that celibate line at the end, by the way. <laughs> also, the hose, the um, the protest and, and the women, that that was that was good too. I mean, yeah, I've got to give that to Gandhi there. I, I've got to. I, I feel like I, I laughed a little bit more at what Gandhi said. I don't feel like Martin Luther King came in as hard there. So, yeah, I feel like Gandhi took that one. Um I'm sure people will disagree and uh, let me know in the comments, but I feel like that could have been a little bit longer, surely for two figures like Martin Luther King and Gandhi, the, that battle could have been a bit, a bit, uh, yeah, a bit longer and maybe, maybe like they like to do and in introduce someone else into it. Um, if they were going to introduce someone else into that battle, who would you in have introduced into that towards the end? Just as a little surprise, let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, Gandhi, Gandhi for me. It's 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 just one of them easy ones for me to pick there. It really is. Um, it wasn't close for me. So Gandhi took it. Um, as I said, let me know what you think. Please like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. I'm so sorry this one is not as long as it should be. But, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> hopefully, I will see you all on the next one, which will hopefully be a little bit longer.